Guys, I am the Dow King, and since I did my last video, I spoke a little bit about the cult of DeFi, and so many people hit me up, including project leaders, and they were like, man, it's so true about the cults that we have in DeFi, and people started telling me which projects they're following and what cultish behavior they've done, and it's kind of crazy, and I just felt like we got to get it, we got to get ahead of this, because DeFi and crypto is a cult. You don't see this happening in the stock market. No one's going in the stock market, man. My Disney stock, I got to hold on to it to the bitter end. No one's doing this. People are a lot more objective. So what is happening? That we are losing our minds in DeFi. We are just literally losing our minds. I, I think part of it is that the people in DeFi and crypto are more involved, which is great. But we also need to take a step back. And this cult of personality that we are creating for these projects, the, it's, it's insane. And it's gonna do more damage. People are gonna get fucking wrecked. In fact, they have been. This is the first cult I was a member of. 2030, the narrative. 15 year old genius dev, they're gonna change DeFi. This is gonna print money. I'm gonna become a multimillionaire. This was the one I believed in. The total value lock, $128,000, was at one point, I think, over like 300 or 400 million dollars. Yeah, this was a good cult. This is a great cult to believe in at the beginning, right? I mean, and I and look look how brainwashed I was. Look how brainwashed I was. Look at this chart. It went, I bought it in around the hundred to two hundred dollar mark, and it went all the way the share token eight thousand dollars. Did I sell? No, because I was a true believer. I was a believer, not a believer, a Bieber, not just a Bieber follower, but a believer. I was a two ohm believer. I believed in the 15 year old. I will never believe in another 15 year old again. This is the lesson learned. Uh, at least I was able to break away from this cult and from other ones and kind of became a better investor, I feel. Now, if I was objective, which I was not, I would have probably sold somewhere in here and I would have made a grip load of money. And it's not like I didn't make money. I did make money here because I was at least taking my daily rewards. In Tomb Forks, you get a daily reward and you put it aside. I probably still made over $100,000, but I could have probably made $300 or $400,000. That's the difference, right? Because when you're in a cult, you'll make money, but you're not, you won't make as much as your full amount that you think you're gonna make. So I was a believer in these guys. It went all the way up to 8,000. It came all the way down. I didn't sell because I believed, because I was brainwashed. We must not be brainwashed in crypto. We must not be brainwashed in DeFi. We must not follow cults. We will get wrecked. You will get fucking wrecked 99% of the time. The narrative sometimes makes sense, but when you see the red flags, get the fuck out. Just get out. And th that's me now. I'm almost overly reactionary to little things. I see some things and I'm like, I'm out. And sometimes I shouldn't be, but you know what? Lately, when I've been getting out of projects, just like blowing out of them, at least I have my profit and I'm good and I'm sitting still. And I don't have to watch the rest of this drama unfold. So if you go to 2 ohm, 3 ohm, they're obviously right here. They're still going. They're still trying to fix things and keep their project going. So they're still there. Now, the guy that everyone out there, the major guy that everyone is following is Richard Hart from Hacks. And he is the best cult leader I have seen. He is incredible. I saved so many people from doom. Playboy Mall learns about finance with Richard Hart. I mean, he's got Playboy Models. He's saving people. Richard Hart loves puppies. I save you while everyone else destroys you. Euro is doom. Why am I always right? I mean, I, I haven't watched this video, but I kind of want to see it now. I want to see why he's always right. But he's going to talk for an hour and 49 minutes. What the fuck is he talking about for an hour and 45 minutes? And then he looks like he's got some girl on there. And he's got, does he have a Prada bag around his, around his neck? <laughs> I, don't, you know, I don't know what's going on out here, man. These, these streets of Defa, they, they strain. So he actually reminds me of, there's this guy on uh, Instagram. I think it's called Vegas Dave. He, he carries handbags around, like $100,000 handbags. What is up with these guys in handbags? I don't understand it. I just And he's wearing it around his neck. It's just even more bizarre. Um, okay. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely have to watch this one. I don't I don't know what's going on in this one. So they really they really entertain you, and people are falling for it. And Hex has been one of those breakthrough great projects that is doing well. So this is the thing I gotta tell you guys. If you find yourself doing a couple things, you're in a call. Basically, anything bad that happens, if you're out there basically taking the opposite side and saying, no, that didn't happen, that's BS, you're in a call. Like this is what happened to me in Harmony, uh, which is a layer one token that got hacked. Remember they got that North Koreans hacked their bridge like a few, uh, like a few months ago. I was on Harmony's uh, Twitter and I was like, yeah, you guys were a shit coin even before your hack. And then, dude, I or, or or their Discord, I don't remember. And I got so much hate, I couldn't believe it. I thought people would be like, "Yeah, it's a shit coin." Oh yeah, it's terrible because it's very obvious it's terrible harmony, right? Dude, people were like, "You, you're an idiot. You suck. You better sell. I'm gonna buy it all." I'm like, "Whoa, dude, the token was 35 cents. Now it's at like two cents. It was like one and a half cents." And you guys are defending them? They got hacked. Their whole network is in shambles, like shambles. And there's people legitimately defending them. Those are cult followers, cult of personality or cult of the project. You have to distance yourself in DeFi. If you find yourself in a cult, look at yourself. Take a minute. Step back. If you're in their Discord every day, take a step back. Don't be in their Discord every day. Take a couple days off. See how you feel. You cannot be part of a cult, guys. It is dangerous. You will get fucking wrecked. You will get wrecked. Very few cult followers make it out alive. Okay? Remember Jerry, was it Jerry Jones? Right? In the Congo? Very few make it out. You got to be... Jerry Jones, the guy from the Cowboys, I might have had it mixed up. But anyway, you know, you know the guy I'm talking about. So, uh, oh, Jim Jones. Jim Jones, that's the guy. That's the guy. So you guys should put in the comment section. I want to see what cults you guys follow. Okay. I want to hear about your cults because some of you sent me, I got so many messages from people and some of them sent me some cults that I didn't even know existed. Didn't even exist. I didn't even know. They weren't even on my radar. So if you're part of a cult, please, I want to hear which one. It's, it's just, this is something we need to deep dive into DeFi. You won't make money if you're part of a cult. I, I mean, you'll make some, you just won't maximize. The maximization is where the real money is made in DeFi or in crypto or in the stock market. In the stock market, you don't have people that just fall in love like with a particular project like too much. For some reason, you don't have it. And maybe that's because people in stock market, it doesn't trade all day long. Maybe they're just not as involved. Crypto, maybe you got to be more involved in general. Maybe that's the part of it. Maybe the people in crypto are a little bit more addictive in their personality traits too. You know? Um some people in crypto also treat it differently than the stock market. They treat it like this is better than the stock market because the stock market has failed them so much. So they basically fall in love with the project. So we got to be more objective. We got to start treating these assets and these projects, not anything different than stocks. And we have to take a step back from them and we can't go full into the cult of personality. And there's a lot of them out there. I mean, if you look at all the projects I even follow, I mean, I would say 20% of them are cults. Oh, except for Yabonks. Yabonks not a cult, but he was a face of a cult. Keep in mind, Yabonks, who's a YouTuber now, was the face of a cult at one point. He was the face of a ring fi. And it sucks because the people behind him pulling the strings let ring fi go. So sometimes you're following a face that's not even what's behind the show which is even more crazy. And he got blamed for a lot of stuff, which is, it's, it's not his fault, unfortunately, you know, but sometimes the face isn't the reality of it. And I think your box is going to become a cult leader because he's doing now really incredible breakdowns of videos. You should go, go follow him because he is one of the few people in DeFi that understands how, how everything works. So it's just incredible um, what your box has been able to do and kind of transition He's an incredibly intelligent person, and he will be a cult leader on YouTube, not of a project, which is probably good. And a lot of these I'm looking at, and I'm like, oh, my God, yes. I'm looking at other ones going, oh, yeah, I was in that cult. I was in that cult. I, I was definitely in the miniverse cult for a second, and they didn't even have a face. So, like, you, you know, 
A lot of people believed in Dijon Finance because of Tim Malcolm. That's a little bit of a cult. Everyone's, there's so many little cults. You got to break free from the cults. You got to stand up to them and break free. I don't know if there's a medication you can take, but someone needs to make one to break free from the cult of DeFi. Um, if you see yourself at all standing up for a project that's fucked up big, you're, you're a cult member. And it's okay. Some people like being a cult member. You know, it gives them like hope. It gives them like a place to be. But I'm not sure you're going to make as much money. You know, you just won't. And in DeFi, there's just so many cults. I know a lot of people uh, think that Seifu is a cult and all that stuff because of Brian Legend and people love him. And, you know, Brian Legend is very transparent. He does hour-long AMAs. I mean, you can see it right here. He does these hour-long AMAs, two-hour-long, oh, 45-minute AMAs, and, he, and he's like, ask me any question. So people like the transparency of that. So Brian Legend, in a way, he's a cult leader, but he's also managed to be honest and give as much facts and truth out there to the people. And they're like, okay, we believe in this guy. We like this guy. He's transparent. He's going to make us a lot of money. So everyone has their own way of doing it. And I don't think Brian Legend was trying to become a cult leader. It just happens sometimes. You know, the guy that was really trying to become a cult leader is this guy, Richard Hart. <laughs> he has it down. Like, he has it down. I am here to save you. So when you start seeing stuff like this, guys, like this guy, he ain't even, he's not even hiding the fact he's trying to be a cult leader. He's not even hiding it. And there's a lot of hex maxis. There's just so many of them that are just hex, 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 hex. Oh, Richard Hart, Richard Hart, just on his dick all day and all night long. So when you start seeing this kind of stuff, you got to take a step back. You won't make as much money. You just won't. So hopefully that was helpful. If you're in a cult, it's not the end of the world. It doesn't mean you're not going to make money. Relax. Take a deep breath. If you're spending a lot of time, if you're spending a lot of energy on Discord, maybe you go, I spend, I'm spending a little bit too much time here. Take a step back. Take a little bit of step back. Relax. Go outside. It's a nice day. It's summertime. Go relax. Go lay on the grass, okay? But you don't need to pray to the cult leaders. They're good. These cult leaders are good. They're doing well. Richard Hart is doing great. He's doing happy. He's got a, he's got a Prada bag around his, around his neck for some reason. I'm not sure why he has a Prada bag around his neck. I'm, again, I'm very confused why he even has a Prada bag around his neck, but he does. And, and that's a question you need to ask. Do I want to follow a guy that has a Prada bag around his neck? It's just a question. It's just a question you should ask when you see this kind of stuff. I will definitely be watching this video because I have many questions just from this little clip right here that I'm seeing. Um, I, I, I play, this one's hysterical, man. I, I don't even, oh my God. How to get rich in a bull market and bear. Learn about finance with Richard Hart. Wow. Playboy models, learning about finance. Oh, my goodness. I don't, I don't know what the world's coming to, but, you know, it's a cult of personality. Like I said, everything is, like, now becoming into little segments. It doesn't matter what we have to say anymore. It doesn't matter if the truth is out there. The truth doesn't matter anymore. The new truth is what is happening here in DeFi with these cult leaders. This is the new truth. They rewrite the truth. In fact, they rewrite it so much that I don't even know what the truth is. I didn't know what the truth was with 2 ohm 3 ohm. It kept doing, it went up, it went down, it went back up. I, I didn't know. I didn't know who the truth was. I didn't know who to believe. Do I believe Harry Ye? Do I believe the team? Do I believe the 15-year-old? And, and I'm going to tell you a little a story that there was a, a group of kids that were doing uh, Squid Games 2 that wanted Truth Seekers to KYC them. I get a phone call from some of the guys at Truth Seekers and they go, uh, what do we do? They're 14 years old. I'm like, fuck no. And they're like, yeah, they're 14 years old. And I go, you got to put on the report. You got to put it on there. Give them the NFT 14 years old. Like you got to show people half the people that were in the discord, which was all the YouTubers who they were trying to recruit left the project. Other half didn't care. Sometimes people don't care. The cult of the narrative there is it's being run by a bunch of kids. Some of them were like, "Hey, cool, who gives a shit? And this is the difference between crypto and the real, like what you call financial institutions. They won't have a 14-year-old running the show. 
So here in crypto, we have the chance to do crazy shit. Do you think Richard Hart could be running a Fortune 500 company like this? No, absolutely not. He, would, he, he wouldn't be able to. So crypto has brought in a whole new element that we have never seen before. And there are cults being formed right now. And you can decide you want to be part of that cult. You could say, you know what? I fucking love that cult. I love Richard Hart. I'm going to be part of his. I'm going to be his member. You just go for it. You just won't make as much money. And some of the advice he gives is actually not bad. Some of the ways he does it isn't bad. And some of the stuff he says is actually correct. Uh, he is a smart guy, but you have to understand, keep an arm's length distance between the cult and yourself. Always stand back. This is what I do now. And I'm not investing in that many projects right now. I've taken a step back. I'm not letting the cults infiltrate my mind anymore. I don't even go into their discords that much because that's when they brainwash you. You get into those discords, you start talking, start throwing out numbers. You know, oh, it's going to 5,000. Oh, it's going to be big. Oh, it's this. And he's doing this. He's doing that. And the dev is a genius. And the dev is going to do this. And the liquidity is going to do this. And we're all going to become millionaires. And within a day, they got you. You're fucked. They got you. You're sucked in. It's over. You're just done. You put in a $500. You put it another $500, you buy another $1,000 and you keep fucking buying. Next thing you know, your whole entire portfolio is in this cult. Whole entire portfolio. This is how they get you. You watch it go up. You get the dopamines going. You're all excited. You're 5X and you just watch it go back the fuck down. But you still believe now you're the guy in the discord telling everyone, hold the line, hold the line. <laughs> That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. This is what's happening. This is what's happening. It's when, it's when the learner becomes the teacher. You know, like Darth Vader said, you know. And you become part of the cult and now you're telling everyone what's going on. And that's the thing I've done. I have vowed never to be part of a cult. If anything, I will be a cult leader. Please join my Discord. Uh, this is my Discord. Uh, I will only accept people that worship me. Praise. Praise to the king is how you enter. I'll put the link there. Only praises to the king. Um... Anything else will be banned. No, just I don't want to be a cult leader, but you, you can come join our Discord. Uh, so, you know, I, 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 I promise you it's not a cult. Maybe, maybe it's a little cult. It's a tiny cult. We're not like fully cultish. Just a little bit. We're not Richard Hart. We're not at that level yet. We'll get there one day. So uh, anyway, guys, I hope that was helpful. Don't be part of a cult. Don't be part of a DeFi or crypto cult. Just stop yourself. Take a step back, go outside, get some sun, and then come back and see how you feel. But be aware, you won't make as much money if you're part of a cult. You will get wrecked. It's all about money here. Don't get wrecked. Don't get wrecked. Don't let the cult wreck you. They'll do other things to you too, but don't let them wreck you. That's the number one thing, okay? All right, guys, take care.